try and rattle through the grid fairly quickly because in some of these races they've actually been going after just the one rolling lap. Certainly in juniors earlier they did. So we'll try and get through it as quickly as possible and then we'll be able to uh, get ourselves away and racing. Harry Platek Holland then will start on pole position with Lewis Goff alongside Lizzie Mentier, Heat 1 winner, and Callum Foster on row two. Leon Barlow and Oliver from Bridges on row three. Addison Smith and Ben Horn are row four. Lucas Blantford and Jared Fox Whiteley completing the top ten with Melissa Adrian and Tyler Lee on row six. Daniel Parsons, who retired from the first race, alongside Isaac Parkinson, who also retired from the first race. Though Parsons shown as a DNF because he failed to complete half race distance, other runners classified in 12 and 13 respectively. The other driver that failed to complete that first race of the day was Lucas Blanford, who had the off in the uh, on the first lap and then retired shortly after half race distance. He was a fair distance back, so I get the feeling in that one that he did com just complete half race distance to claim his points and then elect to pull off into the pit lane because there's no point putting extra laps on your tyres if you need to take three seconds a lap out of the pack in front of you. Through they come then, over start finish. Into, it's Goff with a quick start then on Harry Platek Holland. He's going to move into the lead as Tyler Lee tries to find a way through. Leon Barlow, is that in the background, trying to make his way through? Looks like we've got Melissa, uh, sorry, um, Lizzie Mentier trying to go round the outside of could be Callum Foster in there as well. We'll pick them out. It was Foster who was holding on to third place. So a good start then for Callum Foster. And now does actually have to give the place up to Lizzie Mentier who started in third place on the inside. Foster sweeping all the way round the outside on the opening lap. And in and now we've got Fabricius then down the inside of Foster as well. Foster almost runs out of track defending. That's going to back them into the pack behind. They're three wide as they head down towards the first chicane. Goff out the front though. He's bolted. He's away. The gap around about seven tenths to everybody else. Harry Platek Holland then holding second with Mentier in third. Foster, Fabricius, Blanford, Fox Whiteley, Adrian Barlow and Addison Smith complete the top ten. Although Smith has now moved through on Barlow. He's coming under pressure from Tyler Lee, a driver that I was watching in practice yesterday and was really impressed with. He was probably carrying more speed than any other driver into the second chicane from my vantage point watching as Mentia goes down the inside of Harry Platek Holland for second place. The gap for the lead though, 1.3 or 1.1 seconds. It's going to need Mentia to start reeling in Goff as Fox Whiteley tries to get alongside Lucas Blantford into the first chicane. Can't get alongside though. Did take a huge chunk of curb in trying to find a way through for sixth place. As, uh, that's going to behind them as well. They've got Melissa Adrian and Addison Smith for company. So it's a quartet of carts all behind being led by Lucas Blanford in sixth place. There's this contact down there. There's the Foster on the inside of Platek Holland. Holland goes wide into a half spin. Callum Foster moves through up into third place. But definite contact there between the 69 and the 77. That's going to allow Oliver Fabricius then to get right on the back of Harry Platek Holland and Blantford, Fox Whiteley, Adrian and Smith are there as well. We've now got six carts as Blantford makes a late move down the inside of Fabricius that will allow Fox Whiteley to come through down the inside as well. It does and Melissa Adrian's going to try and hang it all the way around the outside of Fabricius. So Fabricius loses two places in a corner and a half and Melissa Adrian may not be close enough. She is close enough to stick her nose down the inside of Fabricius, but cannot get alongside. And Fabricius there has a quick bang of the steering wheel in frustration as Blantford has found a way through on Harry Platek Holland. Fox Whiteley's going to need to come through there quickly or he's going to lose the toe on Blantford in front. He's the only one that did get through, though, at that corner. Is there? Addison Smith tries to get alongside Melissa Adrian down the far end of the track. Not sure he can get alongside. Did get, have the exit balked ever so slightly. And there he is still in the all black cart with the blue race suit in the background. Can't get alongside. Down the inside though goes for Precious on Holland. And that could potentially allow Adrian to come through down the inside as well. Although she has to settle back in. 
confirmation then on the screen that Fox Whiteley and Fabricius move up to fifth and sixth respectively. There's Fox Whiteley on the screen in the orange, chasing down the bright yellow helmet of Lucas Blantford. Has three tenths in front of him, not sure whether he's going to be able to reel that one in. Michael Burke says go on Lizzie, that's uh, Lizzie Menti then in second place. And there's also support coming in as well from Tim Shrimp Tube saying come on LMR 50. Gap is four tenths of a second now. Mentia takes half the gap, almost four tenths out of Lewis Goff. And we've still got four minutes remaining. So Foster in third place puts in a personal best with Blanford and Fox Whiteley completing the top five. For Bricious, Adrian, Smith, Holland and Lee then now completing the top ten with Parkinson, Barlow, Parsons and Horner. Still only nine seconds splitting the entire pack here in our mini class interesting to see in a few moments time when they come over the lines we see Tyler Lee there in 10th place whether Menti has taken any more out of Goff she has down to a 10th for Lizzie Mentia and the leading duo will go into the first chicane nose to tail as they head down, down towards the second Goff holding off Lizzie Mentia Mentia they're behind carrying all the speed but has closed up but can she find a way through on Lewis Goff. Three minutes remaining, so plenty of time for Mentia to plan a move on Goff. They've got a gap of two seconds back, so they don't need to be too hasty in a move, but Mentia's got the slipstream then. Down that back straight, and through she goes on Lewis Goff, <coughs> and crosses the line with three minutes remaining, leading the way here then in the mini class. The gap then now has Blantford then in third place, having found a way past Callum Foster on that previous lap. Goff though sticking with Mentia. Want to be conscious, the gap is only 2.3. If they start battling too venomously, they could back themselves in to a driver that we know is going to carry a lot of speed. Now Fox Whiteley there, we caught in the background. Can he get past Callum Foster? We'll keep an eye on that in timing in a few moments time. They'll come over the line in about 15 seconds. We'll see whether they chop round or whether Foster has managed to hold on to fourth place have a look in the background now it's Fox Whiteley coming through then in fourth as some of our drivers explore the extremities of the concrete rumble strip on the exit to the final corner the two leaders though still battling away and have actually managed to open up a little bit more of a gap to Blantford in third place so Mentier and Goff still knows the tail two tenths between them there's Blantford and Fox Whiteley Fox Whiteley was right on the back of Blantford earlier but hasn't managed to get through as quickly on some of the drivers that managed to take advantage earlier on going into the same gap that Blantford took advantage of hasn't managed to follow through on Callum Foster quite as quickly but is now in a comfortable fourth place Foster sticking with though to complete the top five with Fabricius, Adrian Smith and now Adrian actually passed Fabricius Fabricius back in front it looks like they came over timing really close between the two of them that it Trick timing and now Goff gets a run down the inside of Lizzie Mentier into the top hairpin. They're still going to be side by side. Goff though doesn't have the drive on the inside. Scrubs off too much speed and has to slot back into second place. But Lewis Goff showing his hand with a minute remaining on Lizzie Mentier. Enough that she has to have a look, a double look in fact over her shoulder. Down the back straight and actually goes slightly wide on the apex. You saw the lift there of the car as they jack the inside wheel up. And basically unicycle on that rear all the way round. Two seconds is still the gap back to Blanford in third place. Who's opened up gap of 1.2 to Fox Whiteley. So if these two battle it might go back into Blanford. But we've still got two seconds. We're going to have at least one more lap at the end of this one. The race now is to get round to see whether there's, they're going to get round before the last lap board comes out. I think they're likely to. I think they're actually likely to quite comfortably actually with 30 seconds remaining. They're down the back straight. So... We're going to have two more laps of the Mini Max as uh, Goff goes wider into that corner. Loses a couple of tenths on Mentier. Seven seconds remaining as they cross the line. Then two laps remaining in the Minis as the time now elapses at the top of the screen. So they've got through with two laps. It's going to be enough for Goff to certainly have one more stab at getting through on Lizzie Mentier. There's Lucas Blanford in third place coming through still. 1.8 behind and there's Goff down the inside into the back she came we don't see many overtakes into there but Lewis Goff dives down the inside Mentia's going to try and get back down the inside she's got the nose down the inside of Goff 
and through she comes back into the lead. <coughs> Onto the final lap we come though. This is going to be mouth watering between Mentia and Goff, bouncing over the curbs into that first chicane. They've even managed to open up more of a gap to Blantford in third, despite the fact that they've had, both had a go at leading this lap as they head towards the final few corners, into the hairpin then for the final time. This is with the corner where Goff got a good run on the last one and dive to the inside. Mentia much tighter this time. Goff goes wide, trying to maximise the exit onto the back straight. He's going to have to close up two or three cart lengths by the time they get to the braking zone. Mentia though, I think is going to have this one comfortably won. When it comes to the final corner, she's parked the cart perfectly. Goff closes up at the line, but Mentia takes it by less than a tenth of a second from Lewis Goff. Blantford's going to get third in front of Fox Whiteley. Foster, Adrian Fabricius and Smith with Tyler Lee tagging onto the back of that battle. Harry Holland will get 10th in front of Barlow, Parsons, Parkinson and Horner completing the, completing the field. Another intense battle there going on to the final lap. This time it was between Mentia and Goff. Goff tried to go through on the previous one. Mentia got back into the final corner and then had enough to hold on into the final corner. Opened up a few cart lengths. Goff though got the run out the final corner. Tried to get alongside and by less than a tenth of a second. Lizzie Mentia holds on for a second race victory of the day in our Mini Max class.